knew Craig was the man for urine when he took her to Cromwell for two new life experiences. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, to drive a jet boat, and secondly, to try out trout fish. Unbeknown to Craig, he was to have two new life experiences as well. <laughs> He got his first body piercing with a push hook through the bottom lip on Aaron's first cast, and it ended up being her biggest catch of the day. <laughs> when I'm with you, I know that you feel the same way too. Shows in every little thing you do, nothing's better than when I'm with you. No, it was it was a classic Tinder love story. It started with me, you know, stealing Erin's phone to Snapchat this random Tinder dude that she'd matched with. Erin thought Craig was a total bogan. He wore high top Nike Air Force Ones when they met and drove a car which Erin says you could hear from the next suburb. She wouldn't even let her friends meet him at first. He was quote just a fling. Someday. We'll be flipping through our old photographs And by then, you and me Remembering the things that make us laugh Oh, the memories we had um, yeah, and anyway, it ended up with me barging into Erin's room much later that night. I'm just really confused and concerned at the sound of a male's voice when I thought we were the only two home. <laughs> I won't get into the assumptions Craig made after I barged in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what ensued was pretty classic, to be fair. You know, Erin denying his entire existence for a while from us. Um, agonising and analysing over all of his text grammar, wondering how long she could wait before influencing his fashion choices. But you know, despite using too many X's and O's in your first few texts, Craig, you did prove pretty soon to be just the right fit for Erin. Now they've been good, congratulations Erin, and please welcome to family. Now we look forward to you staying money home like the boys do. <laughs> yep, yep, um, they send home $148 a week to look after us. <laughs> you can start at 100 <laughs> surreal that you've gone from being a random few pictures on Tinder to my very best friend. As we go forward from today, there will be times where I drop the ball and annoy you. Please be patient with me. You and everyone here knows that I'm dramatic. And although I'll never go fishing with you again, I'm still excited to get a boat and teach my kids how to do it properly. <laughs> Thinking about our future together excites me. I can't wait to celebrate milestones with you. I look forward to more adventures with the dogs and later with our family. We can have family fishing trips on the boat. It's been a long, tough road, but there's no one I would have rather travelled it with. I love you completely, Craig, and knowing you love me back is the best feeling ever. Let's do it. first told me you loved me as we drove out of your flat in Carruthers and I didn't say it back. At that time I wasn't sure. Well now, today, I have absolutely no hesitation. You're my nearly wife, my best friend and I'm proud to say in front of everyone that I love you. case of dehydration on his stag do last weekend. To ensure we do not have a repeat of this incident on your wedding day, I have assigned three people here tonight with the responsibility of being Craig's rehydration stations. 
I know, yeah. It was oh. just a joke. Oh, oh. oh. there you go. Also, I'd like to acknowledge the amount of first that Craig's had in his life. First to be born, first in the 100 metre sprint at school, uh, and your fridge door is the first door he opens when he comes to your house. <laughs> I've never met someone so eager to offer me at least five different drinks and several places to sit the moment I walked in the door. <laughs> yeah, I was um, pretty emotional last night, now that I'm not, and the kind of lump's gone from my throat. It's probably a good time to say that. You look absolutely beautiful today. However, before I continue, <laughs> oh sorry, yeah, I had forever pause. Probably not a good option, was it? Shit, it's warm in here. Is there a hydration station around? New seasons, new paragraphs. However, you always say that I'm punching, and today I tend to agree. <laughs> Tender boy signing off. But am I less holy? Cause I drink a pump of blood and drink a beer with my homies before we fight world peace. We gotta find peace and end the war in the streets by ghetto gospel. <laughs> Love you, Aaron.